Moroccan design. Yes, I am so excited to get into this topic today. I'm an interior designer based here in Nashville and I say that to say I'm going to be giving you the outsider's perspective in on Moroccan design. It's gorgeous, it's textured, it's layered, it's colorful, it's so many good things that I think we can bring into our designs here in the States and beyond. And so yeah, let's do a sum up of what makes Moroccan design so gorgeous. So for starters, I am seeing in Moroccan design that there is gorgeous architecture to start with. It really helps when you have structures that are beautiful to start with, that have great structure, great integrity, and have little nooks and crannies to work with. So I think if I were to give you a takeaway from what you can take from Moroccan design in your home, I would say don't be afraid when you're looking for your first home as a homeowner or you're renting to look for spaces with unique characteristics. So in my apartment, I live in a little bit of an older apartment and we love that it had a little sunroom that I could um, decorate and kind of give it this dimension to the space. So this is what we see in Moroccan design it are spaces that give dimension by give and depth, um, such as long banquettes to sit at, um, different built-ins um, like built-in beds, and I would say, yeah, while we can't necessarily all have Moroccan design, we can have aspects of it that we look for in our own homes and lessons to take from it. So definitely look for those architectural elements when you're looking for your home. And secondly, in Moroccan design, we see so much color. So with Moroccan design, again, we're playing into that archi those architectural elements and we're looking for, for different patterns, unique patterns such as big, bold stripes. And we're not afraid of layering different patterns in order to give this warm, vibrant effect. So I'm noticing a lot of warmth and comfort in Moroccan spaces, as well as vivaciousness through the color. Um, so colors like reds, greens, yellows, blues, ba baby pinks, we are not afraid of any color and we're incorporating it in Moroccan design. And third and foremost is motifs of the stars. So one of my favorite Moroccan accessories is this lighting fixture that I see in a lot of Moroccan designs. And I know a lot of stateside homes incorporate this too. So just wanna say this is a gorgeous light fixture. I'm back, I needed to change out the camera battery. And if the angle looks a little bit different, it's because I had to um, change out the battery in the camera. Right, let's hop back into it. So one thing I love about Moroccan design are the unique light fixtures. And some of these you will see in American homes. If you are looking to draw inspiration for some unique, personalized light fixtures to your preferences for your home, definitely draw some inspiration from Moroccan design if it speaks to you. Um, this would be a great way to upgrade lighting in your home while giving it a unique spin. One thing that is huge about Moroccan design is the natural ambient light that you see in this space. We have patios, we have different plants, we have a gorgeous array of out, both indoor and outdoor spaces that let in the light. So what we can take away from this is definitely don't keep your blinds closed all the time. Research shows that letting natural light in the space is actually better for your mental health because you get the benefits of letting the light in. I'm sitting in the window now and um, yeah, it's just great for our mental health. So if you have blinds on your space, find periods during the day where you keep those blinds raised. If it doesn't matter, if your privacy doesn't matter, remove the blinds and um, in your public spaces where you won't be sleeping and simply include a sheer curtain um, that way you can close it when you need the privacy and leave in the and leave it open elegant um, letting the light in when you are at home 
So these are a few principles we can take away from Moroccan design. And next, I want to point towards the pillows. Yes, the throw pillows. The pillows are a huge part of Moroccan design. I don't know how Moroccan design does it, but designers who focus on Moroccan design really have the, the balance of a including very decorative um, ornate items while also keeping it pared down and simple so how how can we be ornate in completely um, colorful gorgeous and then also at the same time very well balanced and this is because I believe Moroccan interior designers keep a tight color scheme. So this is something we've worked on before in the channel, but in order to create a tight color scheme for your space, choose five colors max that you're going to use that work in harmony together and look pretty together. So how are you going to do this? Well, we're gonna choose um, one color we think should be the primary color in the space. So in my space, it's cream. And then we're gonna choose some complementary colors that we think really make the space um, full of depth and beauty. So that could be things like um, different color woods, um, a color, a pop of plant, some different creams or whites, or, um, or in Moroccan design, you'll see a color seam like reds, pinks, and greens all in one place, but it works really well because we are in a five color or less color scheme. So you can't really go wrong um, for what those colors are that as long as you think they look really, really beautiful together, but not straying outside of those five colors is gonna give your space a lot of harmony and Moroccan design does this so well. So um, I said this was gonna be about pillows, didn't I? And I started talking about a color scheme. Okay, well, let's tie it all in back together. Pillows are a huge part of Moroccan design and I think symbolize comfort because we see a lot of pillows on benches, built-ins, and banquettes, and this is a true symbol of Moroccan design. And I just think that pillows symbolize um, a level of hominess, comfort, and things we can sit with, um, literally, <laughs> that give the eye so much texture. So definitely check out these different arrangements of pillows. I've seen them done in the diamond shape. I've seen them done um, more delicately in lumbar pillows. And um, yeah, draw some inspiration for how these pillows work together. And just because you have a textured pillow doesn't mean you can't have a textured um, seating area. When I say that, different colors that um, Moroccan do design does so well. All right, I believe the camera moved again. I needed to stop and start and it lost a little bit of stability. Um, so yeah, the next piece of Moroccan design that is just huge is tiles and not being scared of going for bright, beautiful, bold tiles. So I think tiles have kind of gotten a bad rap um, in stateside in design recently. We've been opting for more marble finishes in bathrooms. And I think people have kind of gotten weary of like, hey, how do you clean that tile grout? And I think those are really great questions. But Morocco, um, is a huge producer of these gorgeous tiles that um, range from all different colors. And so let's say that you are um, in another country and looking to draw inspiration from Moroccan interior designer design, definitely think about tiling your shower, the inside of your shower from head to toe in the shower. Um, and definitely think about how you could incorporate a tile backsplash, even going as far as a tile kitchen. And then if you're looking to take it to the extreme, I've seen where there have been little nooks and crannies in Moroccan design what, where tile is used um, in living rooms, in other areas that just give it this very, very glamorous, inviting jewel box effect. Um, so that is one of the most uh, beautiful aspects to me of Moroccan design that benefits from their um, manufacturing of tiles in Morocco.
Those of you who love to shop and you're here looking for shopping inspiration for Moroccan design, I am going to list a few different vendors for things like tile and lighting fixtures and pillows in the description of this video. And that is it for covering Mor Moroccan designer. An American designer covering what she sees in the beauty of Moroccan design. There are definitely some gaps in this conversation from my outside perspective in. So if you love this topic, let me know. I would love to speak with a Moroccan interior designer directly and hear their take on interior design because a lot of what we see um, in different publications here stateside come from hotels or um, really wealthy people, even really wealthy Americans, Moroccan homes. So I would love to hear from someone, you know, there in the community who could tell us more since we only see a small glimpse here stateside of what it's really like to live in Morocco. And um, that is the design style I'm covering today. What are your thoughts? What do you think about Moroccan design style? And um, yeah, what, what should we cover next? I wanna know what you think, what's resonating with you on the channel. If you need interior design help, you know where to find me at Rachel Petrie Interiors on Instagram or on my website. I have gotten some messages from you and I'm so grateful when you do reach out with messages. So keep it coming, I really do wanna connect. And I will see you next time.